Hey you guys, today we're gonna draw a snowy owl. I hope you're gonna follow along with me. You got a marker and some paper. You don't have to use a marker if you don't want to, but if you are, you wanna make sure that you have more than one sheet of paper so your drawing doesn't soak through and get onto the table. Now, we're gonna draw our snowy owl perched on a stump. And I'm gonna try to keep this lesson nice and easy and simple for young artists, but it's still gonna be a lot of fun for the older artists too. So we're first gonna draw the top of our stump and we're gonna draw it right here in the middle of our paper. We're just gonna draw a straight line. Now we're gonna draw the snow line that comes underneath it. So we're gonna draw a wavy line that connects from the left over to the right. Okay, now we're gonna draw the stump. So let's draw the side over here on the left. And then we'll also draw the side, the right side over here, but I'm gonna draw it shorter so that we can draw a little branch that's been cut off sticking out. So we'll draw a little line back up, then we can draw a short line back down, and then we'll draw the branch coming back in to the side of the stump and coming down. Cool. All right, now let's add a few texture lines to the side of our stump. This can be for the bark. Now that we got our stump all finished, we can draw our owl. And we're gonna start by drawing his talons. We're gonna draw an upside down U right here, a little to the left. And then we're gonna draw another U, but it's overlapping behind this first one. So there's his two talons. Now we're gonna repeat that same step over here. We're gonna draw another upside down U, and then we're gonna draw another U right next to it. Now let's actually draw his talons in there. So we're gonna draw another smaller U inside of each toe. Then just below these, let's draw a V on each one, and that's so his little talons look like they're curved over the side of the stump. Now let's color in the talons black. Now if I ever go too fast, or when I fast forward the video, you can always pause the video to take extra time to finish a step. And now let's draw our owl. We're gonna start down here next to his talon and we're gonna draw a big upside down J. So it's gonna come up and then we're gonna hook back around and we're not gonna come all the way down because we're gonna draw a wing right here. To draw his wing, we're gonna draw a sideways U. So we're gonna start up here, connect to the side of his body and then back down. And it's kind of diagonal too. Then we're gonna draw the feathers on this wing. So we're going to draw a zigzag line, and you don't have to draw this part exactly like mine. You can just use your own creativity to draw those feathers in there. <laughs> he's, he's looking really cool. Now, we're going to draw another wing over here, and we're just going to be able to see his shoulder of the wing because it's tucked behind his body. All right, now let's draw his tail. And we're just going to draw a short tail sticking out, and then I'm going to draw a little zigzag right here. Cool, now we got his body and we got his wings in there. Let's draw his eyes. We're gonna draw two big circles. We're gonna draw them right next to each other. So we'll draw the first one. And then the second one right next to it. We want these to be the same size. Okay, now inside of these circles, we're gonna draw two more circles. But we're gonna turn these into, they're gonna look like moons. It's a crescent shape, it kinda looks like the moon. And we're gonna repeat that over here but the other direction. Now this is for the pupil inside of his eyes. Next, we're gonna draw the light reflecting in his eyes. We're gonna draw a smaller circle, and then we can draw a smaller circle over here on this side too. Now we can color in the pupil, so that's the middle circle, and we wanna leave everything else white. All right, we've finished our owl eyes, now let's draw his beak. We're gonna draw a V right in between his eyes. Then we're gonna draw an A shape to connect the top. And then let's color that in. Okay, now let's add two zigzag lines to add some texture or feathers on his body. So we're gonna start right here and we're gonna draw a zigzag line that starts over here on the left side of his body and then connects to his wing. And then let's do one more zigzag right below that. And remember, it's okay if your drawings look a little different than mine. 
The most important thing is to have fun and to practice. It's okay if your zigzags don't look exactly like mine. So we're gonna do another zigzag right under his neck for his belly. Okay, now we could leave our owl just like this. Snowy owls can be solid white, or some of them have black little spots on them. And I'm gonna add a few spots over here on his wing. So here's, I'm just going back and forth. Add a little spot. And I'm gonna add a few over, I'm gonna add two over here on his shoulder. And we can also add them up here on his head. All right, we did it. We finished our owl. He looks really cool. But he's gonna look even better once we color him. So I'm gonna put my marker down. This part I'm gonna fast forward also, but at the end you can pause it to match the same color. I finished coloring my snowy owl and it looks so much better with color. Now I also added shading, but you can leave this step off if you wanna keep this lesson a lot easier. But I used a dark brown to add the shadows. And then I did the same thing with the blue. I added some shading to his feathers and to the snow. If you had fun drawing along with me, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We do this Monday through Friday every week. Also remember to click the bell icon to get notified every time we upload a new video. And if you really like drawing birds, be sure to check out our playlist full of bird lessons. And we'll see you later, art friends. Goodbye.